Good morning, and let me welcome you back to my playthrough of Splatoon 3. After the Octo Expansion, I'm here with Agent 3, Callie, Mary, and we're ready to go. So, I'm going to dive into, I guess, Part 2 will be next. So, I don't know if I'll go much further than that, but I want to make these super edits. So, if you're watching, thank you very much for watching. This is going to be a, a regular playthrough. I'm not going to do anything cheeky like trying to cheat the system or trying to speedrun anything or skip anything. I will 100% this just like I did the Octo Expansion. So I left off here at this tube and on top of that, do I want to take care of these things now? And I guess the answer is yes, I want to I want to clean this up now. Oh, I know that's uh, it's not. Yeah, my bad. It's R. There we go. I forgot how to play for a second. But it really didn't do anything new for me, so why did I do that? I mean, there's this. Well, I guess I probably couldn't have got to this. Check it out. Gold record. Uh, do I want to clean the whole area up, I guess, is my question. It's not inked anymore because I turned the game off, so... You know what? I want to see. Let me... See. I'm sure I get something for cleaning all of the fuzzy ink. So, there's got to be something here that's... Well, that I thought for a second that was an actual thing, but I guess not. There's got to be something you get if you 100% this. I'm confident. I found a decoration for my locker. If you guys... That looked like a speaker. If you've seen my locker, it's uh, basically a snack haven. I'm out? Oh, God. I've been spending too much. This is just like the credit card statement at the end of the year. All right, let's go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out. My bad. Look at that giant fuzzy monster. What I kind of laugh about is that you uh, you touch that and you turn into a fuzzy monster too. It's a unique death. I always enjoy games where you die, but it was kind of funny in the process. Cozy and safe factory. This is where I pick up today, and this is where I will start. Is not right there, right there. Because I can't start anywhere else because I actually am out of eggs. So, check it out. Let's go. Twirling, swirling, whirling, and ballpoint. I saw, I think I saw a splatling in there, not a ballpoint. Yep, it was a splatling. Sorry, I said ballpoint, but that said, do I want the blaster or do I want... Let me go with the blaster. I had a really good time with the blaster last time I used this. Plus, there's no fee anyway. But I had a really good time in Octo Expansion when I, I ended up using the blaster for whatever that stage was. Can I climb this? No, just double checking. Hey, you fuzzy freaking monster. I do enjoy their ink, though. I love that it looks like toxic ink. I wish I could program myself to always be using some kind of cool toxic ink. Ooh. -oh. Alright. Is he following me still? There we go. I was going to say, for just a second, I was like, wait a minute. This thing can't turn that fast. There's no way. He's turning with this thing. Well, okay, maybe he was turning as well on his own. I'm not really sure. But I see the shadow, so let's take a look. Checkpoint achieved. Where is he? There he is. That was no good. Did nothing? Yeah, did nothing. Okay. Later, dude. Still alive, are you? We'll take you out this way. Later. I really like the design of these levels in general. It seems like, I would say the Splatoon 2 stages, they were fine, or the levels in the regular, like, you know, in hero mode. Um, the stages, they were totally fine. I loved it. It was fun. But they really ramped up how creative they got with Octo Expansion and this. And I don't mean to keep basically going Octo Expansion this, Octo Expansion that. But Splatoon 3 definitely based like pretty much all of everything they did right in Octo Expansion made its way into Splatoon 3. I should probably have used that a little better, but I right, got the big guy. That's the point, right? That's what we wanted. I mean, there's another big guy, but hey. 
Speaking of you. Later. I really, uh, I would say, for me, the Octo expansion really was a treat for me, not just because the story was fun, but because I got to see how much I've improved at this game. I mean, drastically improved compared to where I used to be. So I'm kind of reaping those rewards now. Mission complete. And it feels good. Full disclosure, I have a cup of coffee. So there is something too that was really cool is Agent 3 apparently takes on whatever the customization that I gave her in Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion was. I thought that was awesome. I'm like, oh, that's sweet. The canonical, the canonical story, which is unique to me, is kept preserved by, uh, by having Octo 2, or I should say Octo Expansion save data. Who's got pointy ears and extra power eggs? For you, this girl. Oh, sweet. So I can get rewards from her, too. All right. Well, let's just uh, take it easy, little buddy. Let's see what we got. I was going to say, I've never tried to shoot the ink before. I wanted to see what happens. All right. So in those regards, though, I can actually skip this. So I do need to be a little conservative about how much I'm using, I guess. So this is Obscorbency and you. Reach the goal using sponges. And look, I can use a boozler. Dualies, hero gear, or a boozler. I don't know why, but I kind of want to do this with a bamboozler. You know, it's really like shedding that uh, that initial feeling that, oh my god, a boozler, I can't believe it. Oh, this thing's going to be terrible. I've really come a long way to where I can at least... I can't use these to actually kill you guys. I can't fight humans with it. But what I can do is I can use the bamboozler to the story mode now. I mean, I plus, you know what? I never realized how much different the boozler actually feels in this game than it does in Splatoon 2. Because I never use it during, during um, Splatfest or anything like that. I never use this weapon. Therefore, I never get a feel for it. Since I got forced to use it in Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, now I kind of got that feel of, man, this thing is a little different. It's definitely faster, I think, too. All right, so, but not only that, I just enjoy that I can actually make my shots now. Sort of, anyways. All right, well, obviously, I need to find something that's inkable, which would be right there. I can hit my shots. Can't hit a little sponge. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah, they definitely improved this weapon a lot. I can see why, uh, I think it's, uh, Ice in chat is a Boozler main, and you said you love this weapon, and I'm kind of seeing why it, one could come to that conclusion that this would be your new main, you know? That's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show no fear. I'm gonna play the Bamboozler, even though I used to say I can't snipe. I can definitely snipe now. I cannot snipe humans is the big thing, but I can do this during a Salmon Run easily. I had a really good clip. I don't know if I'm going to... I posted it in Discord, but I don't know if I'm actually going to put this on YouTube. But if you're curious, anybody watching, I had a really, really good Salmon Run clip. Uh, during the all-random rotation, I got an E-Leader on Grillers, and I was just smacking those Grillers. I was like, I can't believe this is me. I've never been able to use any kind of sniping equipment worth a damn anyways. I've, uh, I've always been very horrible with sniping. As I would imagine most people are. Most people probably don't like snipers. Ooh, got him. I was going to say. It said uh, I saw the crosshairs for just a moment. Grab these crates. Hey, look, a little armor after I fought the, the onslaught. That was foolish of me. You would think that I would have gone for that before I found all those dudes rushing me. Gotcha. Yeah, this Boozler. I, if this is different than... Uh, uh, maybe somebody correct me if I'm not... Hiccups. Um, correct me if I'm uh, mistaken, but if this is the same Bam Boozler that we have access to in the game, like this isn't souped up or special for the story or anything, then this thing is way different than it used to be. Definitely can get on board with this. All right, let's do this. Oh, actually, I think that's... Yep. Ooh, he broke my shield. 
I thought I was gonna just kind of ooh hey well I had missiles already but my bad I I didn't use the missiles I probably should have oh well at least I got to use my Zuka that was fun and right here at the end look at that dude the bamboozler I just rocked it with a boozler I mean I'm not in the most difficult stages in the world either but I deserve a sip of coffee for that one I love how I instantly feel nostalgia, even though I just played the Octo expansion. It feels instantly nostalgic, like I'm seeing the end screen and I'm seeing the you know the the more modern sound, that kind of like a progressive sound, and I'm thinking, you know what I miss? Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Nice. Not nice. How do I get over there now? Oh, wait. I'll send you. Now grab it and bring it back. He doesn't do that, clearly. Well, we'll figure that out later. Soak it to me. All right. I saw, yep, I was going to say, I saw my main, and you know I'm not going to pass on that. All right, sanitize me. Let's get in there and rock. All right, I'll never forget the first time that I actually, I played this thing with you guys in private battles, and it was like the first time I ever realized that I'm good. I'm not great. I'm not going to go on the competitive circuit any anytime soon. Worlds just happened. You're not going to see me in Worlds, but... Uh, I was like, I was just nailing shots. I'm like, dude, I was actually nailing every single shot and I was able to dodge and attack and just, it was crazy. I'll never, I actually clipped it because I was like, I can't believe that like in a 10th of a second, I knew exactly, you know, somebody's standing behind there and I knew how to bounce a lot of you can't bounce it off of there, but I knew exactly where I needed to bounce to get them to hit. And it was just, it was really cool. All right, here we go. Haven't seen any enemies yet, but checkpoint achieved, so... Oh, here's some enemies. Also, I absolutely rocked it when I was doing Anarchy. The only problem with Anarchy is it takes freaking forever to rank up. So I was like, alright, well, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get that. But um, during Anarchy, I had some crazy plays with this thing against s rank players, too. I was like, dude, I'm so proud of myself for coming so long. You're so far away, anyways. From where I was in like Splatfests of Splatoon 2. And the only question I've got now is if that thing's not going to come out any further, how do we get it? How about little buddy? Oh, I don't have a little buddy. Oh, okay. Never mind. My bad. I uh, I didn't read the instructions. You got to hit the first one. Okay, that's that's what it was. Well, that's kind of cool. That's definitely new. All right, so that one's full. And that one, yeah, I was going to say, it looks like those don't stay, though, do they? Uh-oh. I want to get a hustle on here. Normally, I just skip crates like this, but I can't because this time I actually do need them. Nice. Nice. Oh, geez. Look at that. Okay. Well, obviously I want this, so... Let's see what you got. What did I come over here for? Oh, I needed that, actually. Like, I, No, I legit needed that. Also, I might want to back up here. I don't remember where square one is. Oh, I see it. Okay. All right. Let's go. Got your key. Up we go. May those soaker blocks pop is so satisfying. Nice. Mm, is he a Gatler? I can't tell. No, he's a sniper. Later. 
Actually, satisfying is exactly the word for it. That is that is definitely satisfying. In fact, I'm going to do this. I, oh, I don't need to make those. Wait. Yes, I do. There's something there. All right, sweet. Nice. Got a reward, but wait a minute. Why wouldn't I go all the way up and check the backside, too? Well, there is no backside. That's why. Onwards. Yeah, it's, uh, to me, I'm getting concerned, if you will, that we're coming up on the final Splatfest for this game. I wonder how long it's going to take for that. Mission complete. One more sip of the coffee, and then I'll finish that point. I definitely get to call myself the new Agent 3. That's that's going to be the title I call this guy. Which, this guy is not canon. Or, well, I guess, I don't know what canon would be in this game. All right, so, but uh, I'm, one thing I am concerned about is look at the time difference between the final Splatfest and Octo Expansion. We're kind of in that unique zone right now with where we're at with Side Order versus Final Splatfest. Switching things up. I wish they, you know, I, I wish, I just wish there was more time. I wish we had more years of support. You don't feel like you're lost in the woods, you know? All right, so we're underwater, but no kelp don't. God, I love the ink color on this, though. Got a little entry fee. Check it out. I love it. It's uh, reminiscent of the uh, brine water. Really cool ink color, too. That was the cinnamon roll, I think. Splatfest color. Well, there goes that. Um, huh. Okay. I was like, what do I do now? Checkpoint achieved, though. Got that going for me. Nice. All right, so these blocks just run away. Oh, goodbye. Hmm. Sweet. Goodbye, block. Farewell. Makes you wonder where all these blocks are going. I will see them again, clearly. All right, onwards we go. Dude, I love stages like this where they're built with uh, kind of like they're underwater and everything's kind of misty and dark and good atmosphere for this. The kelp atmosphere in Octo Expansion was definitely nice. Nice. All right, uh, that is not a block, so what's up here, I wonder? I was already here. Later, dude. All right, let's get in there. Oh, I was going to say I thought I could go through that one. What was that? That was a weird... So, hmm, it's like a little Rolonium. I like that. I don't know what it does, but I like it. Oh, he only goes forward, though, so you got to be careful. All right, what if I throw a bomb there? So, what, what, what do you do? I'm just curious. You know, I see... You've got remote control, you've got Rolonium, but... Can I shoot you when you go, like... Nope, not like that. So, what am I not seeing here? You gotta do something a little different, right? Hmm. I'm very confused right now. You just roll over and die? That doesn't seem very fun. All right, let me check what's on this side. I mean, I know I've already been over here, but obviously there's got to be something I'm missing. That little Rolonium. It's got to go somewhere. I can hit it from here, too. Questionable... Let's see, what did I miss? That's going to be the, the end question here is going to be, what have I missed? And the answer is, I don't know. I just know that thing doesn't go anywhere right now, and it should. And I think I have my answer. What did I miss? Well, that block has something to do with it. I'm going to follow this one. I'm curious where, oh, you're just stacking up over there. Okay. Cool as that might be, I'm thinking that's what it is, is that I was so focused on killing that I didn't realize that there's uh, 
a number of blocks that I've actually missed that I need to be going back and getting. So now it makes sense. And judging by over there, how many there were that weren't there, which I'm going to say is still quite a few. Yeah, that's uh, okay. So I got to backtrack now. My bad. That's all right. I get to discuss the uh, the wonders of the end of Splatoon 3. Isn't that such a lovely topic? No, seriously, I am uh, I am concerned, though. We're coming up on the end here. and it's, it, There's just something about a game that feels... Oh, okay, well, I guess not. Um, there's something about a game that feels so empty. You feel so abandoned when support's finally over for the game, you know? That's a new feeling. Games, back when I was a kid anyways, they didn't have that. We didn't, You know, you bought the game, that was it. There was no supported for three years of updates or any of that stuff. So, and to me, the thing that I always love is seeing updates after the game is supposedly not supported anymore. Mario Kart is a great example of that. That game was out for, what, four and a half, five years? And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, we're going to put some DLCs on here. Um, for Smash Bros, you don't get any major updates, but at least we get the new stickers, you know? You got that much going for you. But, uh, you know, Splatoon 2, when the final fest happened, they gave us all the customs and that's it. That's all they gave us. We were done. Questionable. Very questionable. All right, well, let me go back. I'll be right back. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Nice hiding spot. Sneaky little switches. All right, well, now it makes a little more sense why the Rolonium is there. My bad. I don't know why I didn't see that. Well, I mean, I guess that bottom one was a little tricky, but I didn't look up, so there were a bunch of them I didn't see. All right, so now I get to actually use the Rolonium, and it'll do something more than what it was. Oh, nice. Nice. That was just super satisfying. I kind of want to do it again. Anything hiding behind here? You you would do all of this and, and there's nothing nothing hiding behind there. I would have hid something back there. That looks like it would be a lot of fun. All right, I want to do that Rolonium one more time. Let's follow the Rolonium. I can't keep up. Rolonium, you're so fast. Rolonium, come back. Well, here it is at the top. But I kind of want to I want to throw a bomb and do the Rolonium one more time. Oh, I'm not even going to get close. All right, let's just finish it up. <laughs> I was interested until I wasn't. Nice. All right. Onwards we go. So I'm surrounded by the ink. Got to be careful. Surrounded by fuzzy ink specifically. And then to get up there, because I definitely want to get whatever was at the top here, but I can't get up there. So there's got to be something we're missing. And it's definitely going to come with that. So let's get rid of this one. Alright, so I took care of that. Come across here. Let's go down. Nice! Sardinium, which there's one on the top there that I need to get, and I think I just figured out how to get it. Heck yeah, double Sardinium. Look at me go! Alright, let's see. Question to myself. Do I go back up there and get that ink, or do I go down here? Hmm. Let's see, we go back this way. Nice. All right, let's see what else is here. Also, this guy goes somewhere over here. I just don't know where. Pretty far that way, though. All right. I'm going to say, what's, uh, what's pinging up there? All right. Well, I can see that there's something here. So let's follow it. And what this is, is a nice, big, fat, dead end. Um, yeah, let's try it. You, did you, you didn't make it. Okay. Oh, that's because, okay. I was going to say, there are two. I thought they were one. There are two. All right, so we come through here, and then I'm back. So which way do I want to go? Hmm. If you want to reach the highest spot here, look for an ink rail. Well, I kind of already did that. 
It was fun. I enjoyed it, but I'm on to greater things now. Another speaker decoration. Nice. Check it out. Look what I found. The Ink Conservation Project. Reach the goal without running out of ink. Yeah, this is going to be one of those, dude. Oh, man. And you give me a blaster for that? Oh, God. Dude, you give me a freaking blaster for this. Okay, well, decontaminate me. Here we go. Reach the goal without running out of ink. All right, so can't refill your ink here. No, you cannot. So that's all right. I did plenty of these. Um, Let's go with the Rolonium. There we go. And let's follow it. That was extremely satisfying, and I'm glad that I did it. I should get the crusty ring, but I didn't. That's a lot of splat switches. All right, so we got we to gotta do this methodically. I hit that one. It hits those two. Yeah, I think this one right here, actually, this one will be fine. All right, takes that one, takes that one, that one. Crap. Okay. Well, looks like I got to uh, use ink one more time. And okay. So yeah, I probably, I used two shots when I probably could have used one, but I guess that's something I'll look at when I go to edit this. All right. We got to be careful about that. We want to get down there when it's in the middle. There we go. Almost, almost. Just going to run around you. Don't mind me. Oh, wait. I can stand on this rail. Nice. All right. So. This is an easy one. Shoot that. And then over to you. Goodbye. And look at that. Oh, it, it, that thing only moves once. Ink conservation at its finest. Because this one was a lot easier than, uh, than some of the other ones that I dealt with back in Nocto. Test passed. Oh, sorry. Mission complete. All right. So now you got to wonder who's in charge of this. Is it going to be Tartar again, I wonder? I mean, this thing is... All of this is set up just like the Octo expansion was. So I'm inclined to believe myself anyways that... We have uh, the same guy was in charge of both of them. So I finally figured out, I think I when I was going through and editing the Octo expansion, I finally figured out exactly what Tartar was after by using that freaking blender. It was, I'm pretty sure anyways, that, uh, that he was trying to grind up all the Octos to make a primordial ooze that used all the best attributes and skills of everybody that was involved so that he would have a complete assembly, if you will, of creatures in the new world. I didn't put that together originally, but I was like, oh, that's what the ooze is. It's all my ground teammates. It's 10,007 inklings. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, yeah, let me come back here. Whatever this is, I want it. Nice. Alright, let's take a look around here and just see what else is here before we go off Agent 3, the new Agent 3, before we go off and do another mission. That's what I thought. It's that freaking stone statue that everybody loves in their... I mean, the head is the popular one, but I see the stone statue as well all the time in people's lockers. People love those statues. Huh. What was this for? Oh, it was to come up here. Okay. I was like, I guess I didn't notice that. I was like, what? How did that happen? I've already been up here. All right, got another one. Sweet. All right, so that goes that way. So I want to get up there, which means I should ride the rails again, I would assume. All right, one more time with this rail. Let me take a look at this. What's up here? Oh, that's why. It's because there is something up here and I didn't notice it. All right, getting lost in three easy steps. Navigate the maze. All right, I got a gal and I got curling bombs. Let's rock. I love this ink color as well, by the way. All right, so we navigate the maze. And I can't, I can go on the maze. 
If I climb up the maze, do I explode? No, I don't exp I don't- well, I sort of explode. For just a sec, I was like, wait a minute. And now I don't even know where I'm at because I was reacting to you. Because I was like, oh my god, there's uh, something shooting at me. So now I want to see because it's not just about navigating the maze. It's also about taking all paths. And all paths traveled usually means lots of tr prizes, treats, and treasure. Well. What do you suppose I do here? Uh, ignore it is going to be my answer. Same thing with this one. Can't really get to it right now. Alright, so, but at the same time, you allow me to jump on the top of the maze, so... I say we just do bird's eye view. I mean, if it's an option, why not take it? You know what I mean? Uh-oh. I was going to say, that's, uh... That's, I thought that would be a good way to do it, but. Oh, wait, your shield's gone. Ha! Take that. All right, so there's the end, but I don't want to take the end option right away because I want to get all the eggs that I can because I need them. So the question is, how do I get those good packs? The answer is... We deduce, figure out, adapt, and overcome. We, we got to decide... How do I get that? I can't ink there, so death? I guess death is an option. Hmm. Well, let's see. Maybe something moves and I don't know about it yet. That or it, re it really is just like, we'll use two of your lives. And if that's the case, that's so unfortunate. And at this point, I kind of don't even feel like going back and getting them. So, I'll live without them. Aha! There we go. I knew death wasn't the way to do it. There we go. I also note that I actually missed... That is clever, by the way. I like that. Uh, I missed one of them. There's an octo up there that's... He's uh, alive. Alright, so this will be the first one, and then we'll grab the second one. I knew you didn't just jump to your demise. I wonder how many people played this game that were like, Well, bottoms up, and jumped to their demise. I mean, I was close. I, I, I was considering that option. There we go. Worth it. Alright, so you're still alive. Not for long, though. What? Oh, okay, my bad. There, now you're gonna die. You're still not dead? This is so awkward. That's also awkward. Hold on to it for a sec. Throw it. You, okay, you know what? At this point, I think I'm just going to get down there and do business myself. I got to go this way anyway. I thought it would be kind of cool to take you out the bomb, but now you're just in my way. Wait, wait, wait. I realize the end is right there, but I need those eggs. I, I think I missed them again. No, I did not. I did not miss them again. I was totally fine. Mission complete. Nice. Well, that was nice. I like that. I enjoyed that. I can't help but feel like they're going to throw a super maze at me now. Like, I'm going to go through this a little bit more, and there's going to be a maze that makes that one look like child's play. All right. So, from there, I should probably be getting a bird's eye view of these things at this point, but clearly this one's got to go. Because that... And that, there's something up there. I want this out of the way. Yes, that makes sense. Aha. Alright, where does this go? I didn't really do a lot of ink cleaning here, so hopefully... Uh-oh. Is it behind there? Or Oh yeah, I can get that. I almost could get that if I try again anyways. One more time. All I got to do is, uh, it, it, the path is already inked for me now, so I'm okay. Alright, let's try that again. Hmm. 
All right, here we go. Oh, I messed up. I got my order of operations all screwed up. Plus, there's another rail over here, so clearly, uh, clearly there's something here that I could have done a little easier, too. All right, well, I'll take a look at that in a sec. All right, so from this direction, yeah, it looks like there's a rail on the other side of this, actually. All right, one more time with that popping of the balloon. Let's go. All right, perfect. Back where we started. Nice. Ta da! I got. Grizzco Industries Occupational Safety Guidelines. One, keep your eggs in the game. Two, I'll try to grab one more. Could end up with one less of you. C goes dark, tide goes up. A, B, or A, C, B, always check the basket. And five, throw your eggs, don't yoke around. I like the sea goes dark, tide goes up. That was useful. All right, so that's how I get to the next section. Uh, let's pull up the map here. Did I get them all? Let's see. There's got to be something that tells me, like, completion, right? I think I got them all. I'm pretty sure there are no more. I'm pretty sure I see one more right there. Yeah, it's right there. Let's Let's go to that one. Eye on the prize. Right there. Whoa. How did I miss that? I went right over that and didn't even realize it. Alright. Onwards. So I want to go up there now. Well, I can get over there. The only question is... I guess I'm going to have to do it a little creative, aren't I? There we go. Eat that up. And onwards we go. What'd you find, little buddy? Little buddy, I don't see anything. I think you're crazy. All right. So. Interesting to note that. And I think I don't even need the... Yeah, I don't have to actually get this ooze out of the way. That I will. Nice. Got a decoration. It's uh, an eyeball. How lovely. All right, let's do this. Pallet, pallet, pallet. And look, I didn't even I didn't even have to use the eggs. I figure that's probably going to be a 100% thing. You know what? Before I forget it, I can see right now, and I'm going to forget as soon as I do a stage, to grab this. Nice. I know meme better than anybody, and I know that I will absolutely forget to do that. All right, this one is called Tread Heavily. Crab Tank. My oh my, I am a fan of the crab tank. Let's do this. Can't use? Well, then what's the point if I can't roll around in the starting room? All right, here we go. Nothing was funnier in this world than uh, the anti-gravity challenge mode for the monthly challenge or the, the weekly challenge or whatever it is. And I was playing with some friends and I immediately grabbed the crab tank and I can jump and bounce on people's faces because the crab tank rolling around when you jump with it you were you were jumping way higher like way higher than this and i was just like you know what i'm gonna abandon my machinery and just jump on people's faces that was that was absolute gold am i causing it to move that way nice shot all right uh, yeah i want to see I think I might be doing this. Also, does anybody else note that that is a human? Once again, I thought that... Uh, well, obviously, um, Captain, Captain thought uh, Cuttlefish knew that there was... There we go. He knew that there were humans in the past, so somehow he had that knowledge. So the question becomes, how did he get that knowledge? We're just rolling in my infinite crab tank. Dude, I love that I have an infinite crab tank right now. That's the only thing is Octo Expansion kept throwing at me uh, infinite ink jets. And there were so many inkjet stages. It was it was nice. 
You know, oh, okay, I see. It was nice. I enjoyed the challenge, but at the end of the day, I wanted uh I mean, it was it was really fun uh it was really fun to see the the hamster ball one time. I think we got it one time where you had a a, a hamster ball. But uh at the end of the day, I really would have appreciated a few more infinite specials than just constantly getting inkjet. All right, let's see. Um so when you go forward, that's my cue. Whoa, you've got missiles? Dude, you suck. All right, hang on. Ow. I was going to say, wait a minute, hold on. Can I just tank it, literally? Nice. All right, that takes care of that. That had to be the last of the targets, right? All right, let's see. Where, where's he going now? He's going up there. All right, let's go this way. Rolling in my crab tank. My 3.0 hamster ball. So what's the point of going over there? Is it just reversible? There's got to be something. Before I go over there, there's got to be something over there. Something hidden that I don't know about. All right, I'm going to do it. I kind of want to go on his head, too, but that's also just a waste of time at this point. There's got to be something hiding over there. They wouldn't put that there for nothing. I, I see you. Game developers, if you put that over there for nothing, I'm going to feel betrayed, and I'm going to feel like you guys are lazy. Knew it. Nicely done, Crab Tank. You too, Agent 3. The new Agent 3. There we go. And mission complete. Nice. That was fun, dude. I love it. Sweet. All right, now I got to see how there are any more. I'm making pretty good time on this, so I can actually go a little more on the recording. That way I just I, I clean up the channel. It doesn't look like all I'm doing is posting massive Splatoon stuff. All right, I think this one is good to get chomped through. All right. Um, that one was actually useless. I should not have done that. I just wanted to see if there's any more. And you know what? I think I'm going to, here's what I'm going to have to do. He's got, why has he got that at the top? All right, let's, uh, let's go get a, a view of this. I need to see that. That's what needs to happen here. Wait, did I not do this one? Bro. All right. Splitting crosshairs. That one is uh, my bad, 100%. So, um, I really don't want the Nautilus and a Slosher or a Squelcher. Give me the Squelcher. Pay the fee. Desanitize. Here we go. Um, I had problems the last time I did one of these. And I think it was with a Squelcher. I really got stuck pretty hard in uh, Octo on this. That recording... That recording had more time spent on that rail system one than any other any other level, I think. At least these guys are moving. They're also harder to break. Do we have octo music going on here? Remember that that weird one like with the the car wash one? That it was just kind of a funny song. It was like a bam bam bam, bam, bam you know. That one, uh, I feel like we got something similar going on here. Crap. Ink. At least they're sympathetic to that. Uh. Uh-oh. See, I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. At least they gave me a checkpoint. That's better than Octo gave me. All right, let's get a little closer. And conserve ink just a little bit. All right, now I know not to shoot the top one, or the middle one. Come on. There we go. All right, all good. 
That one was uh, that was very painless compared to the one in Octo Expansion. Let's rock. Mission complete. Sweet. All right, so now the question becomes, where am I at? I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Did I finish all the stages? Is that what Small Fry is telling me? Small Fry, let's. Uh, there you are. All right, what what's what's up? What do you? Oh. So you're not crazy after all. My bad. All right, so there's something pinging up there, and I want to see what it is. So let's go check it out. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I don't know how I didn't see this when I was up here. I did see this. I went down because there was a box there. That's right. All right. It makes more sense now. I'm good. Ah, uh, this one's definitely a boss. The future stares back. Fight your way to the exit. Did I fight a boss in the first one? I don't think I actually fought a boss in the first one. So, all right. Here we go. I'm going to have to go back and do that. I'm getting a strong reading up ahead. It might be Gramps. Not so fast. Fry? You're pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we split the treasure. It's adorable because she thinks she's bad. You want to resolve, er, resolve this Splatlands style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle to the death. Eels, get your wiggly butts out here. The eel deal fry. Uh, fry, where did you get that? Hup, hup, hup. Let's dance. All right. Well, I know if I know things like I think I know them. Oh, well, not only are these very strange little creatures, but uh, they die very easily. So. I think some of them are tougher than the others anyways. All right, so let's do this Octo Stamp style. What's up, Fry? Get freaking bent, that's what. Easy. You don't even have refrigerator packs like uh, the Stamper did. All right, all right, not bad. You ready to feel the pain? Now watch this. All right, so is that thing going to start? Yeah, I was going to say, that thing's going to start coming at me. I, it has to. It's not just a bunch of eels. Oh, nice. I have a splashdown? Sweet. The only issue I've got right now is that... Yeah, the, the, where's... Oh, I got it. All right. No, don't hit me. What? What? Mixing it up. Okay. Uh, first dance, eel downpour. So, oh, I was going to say, did is did I fail and I had to redo it? But the answer is no, I didn't. Okay, so some of them, I see. Some of them are going back and, and hitting her as I nail them. All right. I wasn't sure what was going on there. I thought you just had to take them all out until the, the thing. You know what? I'm not inking when I should be. I thought you just had to take them all out and then that thing would uh, crash. All right, so definitely want to do the outsides. Mixing it up, second dance, Moray Whirlpool. I don't know why I'm getting flashbacks. Um, there was a character; he's a really cool character in the series Naruto, and I have I. It's been a long time, like a decade, since I've seen any Naruto, but I will never forget this guy. His name was Kimimaro, and his attacks were all like dance. So he would. Uh oh, gotta be careful here. I just lost my shield. Um, so he would do like dances and he would fight with his own bone marrow. So he would pull his bones out and like make bone swords and such. And all his moves were dances like this. He would say dance this, dance that. All right. So out of curiosity, I've got a splash down. Let's use it, you know. No, don't hit me. Oh, yeah. Check it out. That was sweet. Hey, Fry. Later. All right, third dance, so you'd be on your fourth dance now. Hey, you think you can treat my eels like shrimp? Wrong. All you did was wake us up. I'm firing it up. Moray power. Oh, man, I miss Moray towers. This is all I get of the great Moray transformation. 
All, all I get is this. Um, okay, so I obviously blew my splashdown before I should have. Let's uh, ink it up and get that splashdown back. Oh, they came back. I didn't realize they were going to do that. That's my bad, dude. I uh, I got way too relaxed. I thought this was like, okay, these are non-DLC fights. It's going to be kind of simple, but it's uh, quite the opposite. So, um, it, yeah, I was going to say, is that a, am I back at the checkpoint or am I starting over? Either way, I know not to use my splashdown, so there's no... Actually, you're the ones that go back. Yeah, okay, I see now. I got too relaxed. I was like, okay, I'm just going to get my splashdown. I was messing around. Uh, oh, okay, we did go back. Second dance, Moray Whirlpool. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'm messing around way too much with this. Sorry. This fight is tough. Upgrade your... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I, I probably should have. Yes. All right. First dance, eel downpour. Okay. I obviously... I was just screwing around and, you know, I need to not do that. So, eel downpour. There we go. All right. I was messing around way too much with this, and then that second one, I kind of got a little cocky, but yeah, I'm okay now. Ready or not, here we come. So the question becomes... Whoa, okay. Yeah, my bad. Dude, I, I am way underestimating this. Eel downpour. Okay, here we go. So it's just a random assortment, I see. Two. You got to get the ones that fire back at her. Okay. And I don't think I actually hit her that well on that. Great Moray transformation. Or final dance. Okay. That's how we do it. Whoa. They're. Shoot. I, I, <laughs> I didn't realize they're still out there. Where are they? All right, there we go. I I thought I got all of them with that splashdown. All right, we're good. My bad. Oh, if oh, I didn't give it. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I did not give it enough time. That was horrible. I uh, I thought I was done. I just uh, this whole this whole thing. I'm like, oh yeah, this is the base game. It's not going to be hard, and I'm messing around way too much. All right, let's get the splashdown. I got to get this splash down quick, man. They're going to kill me. Oh, yep. Get out of there. Here we go. What? I thought I was invincible. No. All right. Retry from checkpoint. My bad. Dude. Okay. <laughs> that whole thing. Okay. Okay. I thought when I get the splashdown, I was invincible at the top. Okay, I'm th that's a splashdown, not a booyah bomb. My bad. All right, get my splashdown. I, I thought I was okay. Oh, dude. Oh, no. All right, I got to be so much more careful. Her heels stay down after you defeat him. All right, well, I'm trying. Eel downpour is definitely the easy one. They're just missiles. They even use the missile sound effect. All right, that uh, that does a lot of there. All right, let's get the splash down. All right, mixing it up. Final dance. All right, here we go. Where are they? Here we go. So that, yeah, I, okay, I see it. My my uh, my uh, my shield is down from that. All right, you guys. One more, one more. Let's get him. There we go. All right, let's get over here and be in position and ready. Okay, my bad on that entirely, dude. 
That should not have been that hard. You're way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. Bet you'll miss me. That was not very graceful for an exit. <laughs> All right, I was, uh, I can't believe that happened. I was, uh, I died on that and I didn't mean to have to restart the checkpoint. That was horrible. It, it just seemed like the first time I, uh, is this a, we're building a motorcycle? The reading I was getting from this thing, well, grab it. Nice. We are going to build a squid beak motorcycle. I better get to ride it. I should have taken that fight so much more serious. That was great work. Dude, I have said for a while now that a Splatoon racing game would be such a good spin-off of this series. I hope I at least get a taste of that. It's treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. Copy. Do you copy? Over. Anyone listening? Do you read me? Over. It's Gramps. Gramps, where are you right now? Callie. Mary. My darlings. You're okay. Yep, we're A-OK. -okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? That's Yeah, that's all I was going to say is, wait a minute. That's totally backwards from what it was uh, last time. Oh, sure. I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out. Over. Don't do anything too rash. We're tracking your signal right now and on our way. Call us if anything happens. I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take that. N or let's take a look at the new readings from his signal. Agent 3, if you want to go back to the previous kettle, just open the menu. Alright, so I got a motorcycle frame. So now my question is, did I miss a battle? And I think the answer is probably... Oh wait, I'm back at the start. All right, so I got to know, did I miss a battle here? That's the thing I'm wondering. All right, let's see what we can find out at the next site. So I was going to do this like... I was. Oh, look, there's the statue. I just hope Gramps is safe wherever he is. The thinker. Watch out, it's all slippery over there. Check it out, ice. I love it. Between the fake snow and lack of Gramps' signal, it seems like nothing is chilling here. Well, we should investigate just in case. We'll follow your lead, Agent 3. I was going to try and break the recording up into like five sections, but I think I'm going to I'm going to try to get it down to four. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. All right, so that's hilarious. I love it. All right. This one's climbing the corporate splatter. Proceed with caution, Agent 3. All right, so dualies. I'm not using that. Hero gear or dualies? Hero gear. Yeah, and use the. Let's get little buddy in there. Did we ever actually get Agent Three's hero blaster or hero gun? The one with uh, the carbon fiber. Nice. Got you. Yeah, I guess I'm waiting. I'm definitely waiting to see what the, the Salmonids role is in this. I hope they elaborate on it. I hope they didn't just think Little Buddy is a cute idea and then went with it, you know? Because the Octos and the Salmonids don't get along either. And in Octo Expansion, they specifically said the enemy of my enemy when they were talking about Octos taking shifts at uh, Grizzco. So the question becomes, what's the Salmonids role in all of this? I mean, in Splatoon 2, they wouldn't have had that answer because they had uh, Splatoon 2 was new for that mini game for uh, Salmon Run. So they probably had not per they had not particularly planned out what they were going to do with the Salmonids in the story. And then when Salmon Run was a hit, that's when they kept it around and they elaborated on it. So that's why I'm like, hopefully they elaborate on the story of what are the Salmonids role in society? What exactly is going on with that society versus us and the Octos? Out we go. Final checkpoint. Got a little armor. Let's do this. Later. Agent 3, watch out. What do I get out? Oh. Oh. I love to use the missiles. Boom, 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 boom. Splat. Goodbye, everybody. 
And then little buddy, you can take the last one. Oh, sorry. You're the last one. Goodbye. All right. Come on. Give me something. Yes. Thank you for hiding something behind towers. It's like in games. Anytime that you can go underneath a staircase and there's nothing there, I get depressed. Because I'm like, it's a staircase. You didn't hide anything under it? How dare you? Mission complete. You know, Agent 3, I've seen what you can do. I fought the inner Agent 3, which I guess inner Agent 3 was my perception. That was Agent 8's perception of what Agent 3 was like. Not so much the actual Agent 3, but still, I know that you can fight. Why aren't you out here helping? I mean, you're the new captain, so maybe that's why. And you don't really speak a lot, do you? All right, so we got that. We got that. Looks like we have no choice but to eat this. Let's go. Nice. So little buddy's going over there. So there must be something over here too. There's not. Little buddy, what do you you're getting all itchy. You want me to you want me to take this one out too? Nice. All right, let's see. Hey, your little buddy found something. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for it, but I don't see what he found. It's got to be around here somewhere. Little buddy, what exactly what did you find? I'm very confused. There's nothing here. I... What? You just throw, throw you? I'm confused. Oh, okay. So that's... Wow. Yeah. I mean, I covered the crap out of that thing and it still didn't show up. Very confused. I, I figured that uh, you touch it and it would definitely light up, but no. That is very tricky. In that case, little buddy will have to use your sense of smell for that. All right, let's see. Conveyor belt tightening. Destroy all targets. Proceed with caution. All right, so if I'm going to destroy all targets, uh, it says try this. That's the recommended one. Let's go slosher, and let me see if I can see where... Okay, yeah, I think I'll be okay with slosher. Interesting music. If you would like to remain alive, I did not see... Uh oh. Can I get that ink brush? Okay, I'm screwed. Alright. Nice. That's, uh, this is a really funny stage, but I've got to be very careful. I mean, with the brush anyways, it would be less destructive power, so, you know... At least I can destroy all the targets a little easier with this thing. At least uh, at least this one goes over a little better than the one that did in Splatfest. The shifty station. I can't get that. <laughs> I need ink. These ones, yeah, look at this. Th so with the, the slosher, how far am I? Okay. Check it out. Mission complete. That was not nearly as bad as it looked at first. I am the new Agent 3. I got this. All right. So I'll probably I'll probably go. I'm thinking I'll go a few more levels and then I'll call it here. Let's see what we got. I mean, right now the timer's looking good. I'm making good time. All right, let's slide this way and run over here. Nice. Sardinium. Ooh, sparkles. Agent 1 enjoys some sparkles. Mary enjoys them too. All right, let's go. They said we'd have flying cars, and we do, kinda. They said we'd have ink jets. They said we'd have balls that roll on their own. All right, uh, yeah, give me the hero gear. Pop, pop, pop. All right, splash down, huh? Check it out. Oh, I'm going to charge that up for sure. That's not inkable. All right, let's get that splash down charged up.
All right, so I could, uh, well, yeah, fine. Let me, give, give me a bird's eye. Whoa, what's with the air show? Sky's looking a bit crowded. All right, so we got the Zeppelins, and we got the little guys now. All right, well, let's get going. All right, I should have a splash down here in a sec, and that is true. What if I throw a little buddy at you? So a little buddy can destroy you. All right, let's go. No time like the present. Uh, okay, so little buddy, get in there and do your thing. <laughs> I love that. Get off! Get off me! Get off me! <laughs> it just, that is hilarious, dude. Little buddy actually shows that salmonids are like, they could be so lethal. Salmonids are no joke. They're way more threatening than the octolings. Unless there's the tech, the octo tech, but... Outside of the Octo Tech, the actual Octolings are not nearly as threatening as Salmonids. Makes you wonder the whole society should be fighting Salmonids. DJ Octavio is wasting his time trying to kill all the squids. We'll have to get farther away before we can get higher up to catch a ride. You know I wanna I wanna catch a ride on one of those Zeppelins. Alright, so. I'm just... Oh, okay. Go, uh, nice. All right. That's cool. All right. I dig it. All right. So I will... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, crap. I just wanted to touch it a little bit. Just, you know, I thought maybe uh, my thoughts were that I was going to have to destroy it at some point. And I was like, all right, well, let me get a couple of hits on it. That way I can drop wherever I need to drop and I won't have to hit it too hard, you know. But uh, those things are wimps. They're so weak, I did not realize that those Zeppelins are threatening looking, and then when you actually fight them... I was going to say I lost my splashdown too, but that's back, thankfully. We'll have to get farther away before we can get higher up to catch a ride. Alright, one, two. Do not hit it a third time. I just wanted to hit it a little bit, then we're going over there. Oh, you know what? I completely misinterpreted this. I thought, whoa, that wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention, man. I was just kind of adjusting and moving my coffee. I'm out of coffee now, but, um, so I misinterpreted this entirely. First off, he's not hurt anymore. Second off, I thought I was going to have to destroy him and drop down onto something, and that is not at all what happened. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab that really quickly. Which, this is not how you grab that, so, so much for that. Let's do this. Perfect. Clockwork. I was going to say, I thought there was something there. I thought I heard him, but I didn't say anything. I'm like, I think I hear something, but... All right, so I can go... Why can I go up this thing? Is it just... Uh... Looks like he found something good. All right, sweet. I found a nice secret area and got a whole bunch of eggs in the process. Check it out. Whoa, hello. Wait, I want to catch my ride. Uh, yes, I barely made it. We're good. If I use my splashdown, am I going to... Yeah, I can't use my splashdown. Bloop. If I use my splashdown, I'm going to kill my ride. Which is exactly what I want to do right now. Here we go. That was almost cool, but I missed the rings. Mission complete. It is still early morning, dude. I can go get an up another cup of coffee for the next recording. I'm excited for that. All right. Give me whatever this is. And let's look around. So it looks like this is the next obvious target. Um, how do I get to that one? Doesn't matter. I'll get to that when I'm done with this because you can see the, the path of least resistance is this way. Rail pass. Oh, ink rails. There are three Achilles heels to Miasma, a.k.a. Nina Marquis. All right, I'm going to give you those weaknesses right now. Number one, ink jet. Number two, ink rails. Number three, Gatling or Splatling. Anytime any of that happens, you know that you're in for a fun trip. 
No, no, no. That was almost... God, I was going to ride the rail standing up. Avoid the ink sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. All right, let's do this. All right. One, two, three. All right. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yep. No, whoa, whoa. At least I'm not forced to propel forward. Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Eeny, meeny, miny, uh, left. Do you think it was a mistake not doing both of them? Whoa. All right. So far, so good. We're still early in the game, so I don't have to worry about the challenge or difficulty level being too high. Whoa, okay. We're good. Checkpoint achieved. So many little platforms. Oh, it's a burst bomb, too. Well, okay, that worked. What's, uh, what's this? Come on. Worth it. Oh, I don't know why I got freaked out for a sec. All right, we're good. Nothing spawned. I, I could have swore I was getting ready for something to spawn. All right. Spawn? Nothing? Oh, interesting. Okay, let's... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get everything cleared out then. Nope, that's not going to do it. All right, onwards we go. The ominous music is not exactly helping because I feel like at any second I'm I'm seeing one thing and an ink rail to nowhere. Whatever I'm seeing is not actually what's the reality. My reality is different. The thing that I'm looking for isn't what it appears, you know? That's my concern. All right. All good. All good. We're hanging in there. Final checkpoint. Yes, final checkpoint. Octo snipers. Okay. Whoa. Hold on. Strafe. Ah, no. Oh. I forgot you slowed down. I'm like, okay, let him hit me. That's fine. I don't care. Go, 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 go. Oh, crap. Why did I think I could outrun this? Now I'm drowning. And all I wanted was a little love. All right. It's all right. We're going to be okay. All right, get him over here. No, I didn't mean to go that far. Oh, I didn't mean to go that far. I swear. Ink rail, you're killing me, literally. I need I need another cup of coffee so bad. I'm going to put a high amount of espresso and copium in it. All right, here we go. Let's go. Outrun. There you go. You guys got nothing. All right. Why is that one just doing nothing? Why? I'm concerned. Oh, how the tables have turned. Are you kidding me? Did you see what they did to me? This one was an easy one, dude. Look at that. That was easy. And I died. Mission complete. Ah, oh, the Splatfest better go better than that. I know I'm constantly throwing Splatfest nowadays. The world doesn't even know or recognize that I used to be undefeated. I think I was probably the most accurate person in Splatfests for the first, like, seven Splatfests. I had to have been. Nobody recognized it. Nobody knew. Got a gold record. Sweet. All right, so now the question is, I think I, yeah, we got to eat this one. Because I want this. Uh, I want that too, but where's, uh, where's the one I was looking at? Nice. All right, no, the one I was looking at was this one. Here it is. Sweet. All right, let's go. 
This is time trial and errors. Ooh, I could do a squiffer. What are the advantages? We're doing time trials. Yeah, I think squeezer is probably going to be what we want to do. You know, it would be kind of funny to do this with a squiffer, though. Let's see what we got. I'm not going to risk it. If I go with a squiffer and then I'm like, oh, no, I'm stuck. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I, I could see where this would be fun with a squiffer. No, wait, this would be a nightmare with a squiffer. You, you're timed. All right, I don't think I missed any balloons, did I? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm blind. Get back here. I was going to say, if you run away and I die, I'm going to be very upset. So, yeah, Squiffer would have been a nightmare with this. A fun challenge for sure, but also a nightmare. All right, here we go. I think I, yeah, I'm going to have some trouble with the clock. There's 50. Go, 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 go. Gotcha. Mission complete. Whoa. That was a little on the close side. Normally, those kind of things don't work out for me. They work out against me. The clock runs out like a quarter second too f soon. Cryogenic Hope Town. I forgot to check what this was called. All right. Uh, let's see. So I came from this way. Little buddy, what you got? This way. All right, let's take a look here. So there, there was one up there. So how do I get to that is the question. And I think the answer. Where are you going, little buddy? You got one in the ground? You're not jumping up and down, so I don't, I don't think so. And before we go that way, I want to go back. To go forward, we must take a step back. Almost touched the fuzzy there. That would have been uh, that would have been fun for you guys, not for me. All right, let me take a take a step back and look over here. Where did little buddy go? I hate when he runs off, and I'm like, there's clearly something he sees that I don't. There we go. No, that's not where we go. Dang it, that was a shortcut. Oh, I wasted it. All right, well, I guess onwards we... Oh, my God. Hey, look, I'm fuzzy. All right, one more time. Heroes get up no matter how many times they fall. That's what Captain says anyway. All right, well, little buddy, I don't know what you're looking at, but I'm guessing that, yeah, I'm not going to do that balloon until I have more ink cleared here. I was going to say, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's got something to say. I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Small Fry can wait. I'm coming over here, and I want to see what you got. Guess what? I've got some power eggs. I appreciate it. Proceed with caution. Try curling. Alterna's 11th most popular athleisure activity. Did you know number 10 has to do with 8 balls? Only curling bombs. Huh. And the highest entry fee that I've had yet. Although, I guess the entry fee really is not an issue. Nope, it's instant. <laughs> nice. Airplanes and cities. Look at this. This is what the world lost when some mysterious cataclysm took out the earth. And ended the humans once and for all. Splatoon is like the funnest apocalypse game series. All the others are uh, are so doom and gloom, but look at us. The most dominant species on Earth goes down and dies, and we get uh, dancing and music and and turf wars. That was not even close. Also not even close. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Nope. Can't do that. Alright. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do. All right, well, uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like I got to do this. Oh, I held it for too long. Why did I do that? That's what we want to do. Sort of. Play the angle a little better. Not that angle, you moron. This angle. I held it for too long again. And I threw it too poorly anyway. Ah, oh, okay. Worked. That's fine. I'm good with that. I thought I held it for too long again. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, this one should be an easy one. Whoa, that was trippy. Ta-da! All right. Just a couple of wiggles. All right, let's see. Good premise, but I got to wait for them to be out and coming in. Close. Here we go. Ta-da! Alright, one more to go. Remember this one that I uh, I got killed on in Octo? It wasn't exactly... Well, yeah, it was pretty much exactly like this. Because it had a straight line when I got there, and then I decided, instead of waiting, I'm like, well, wait a minute. The, the straight line is already lined up. Let me go. And then by the time I jumped on it, I was gone. Oh, well. Mission succeeded. Sweet. All right. So reach the goal. We did that. Next up. Check it out. Like little things. Only they don't try to kill me. All right. So is there something up there? There is something up there. So ah, let's do it. I got 15,000. What are you looking at? All right, I guess I'm going to follow him this time. What are you looking at, little buddy? Sometimes I got to be very aggressive with this, because if you don't hit it perfect, you don't get it. All right, sweet. All right, I think we should eat this one. There we go. Nicely done, little buddy. Onwards we go. And then, hmm... Yeah, I don't really need that one, do I? Sweet. Got a generator. All right, so there's really nothing up here per se. There's this. Always could use more eggs. No, sardinium. Sweet. All right, let me take a look down there. Kind of a... I think that's just a shortcut. Little buddy, you got anything over here? You, you went for a swim? All right, well, goodbye. I'll just take care of this on my own, I guess. More eggs. I can never tell when he's actually helping or when he's... Uh, I'm going to die. Well, look at me. I'm fuzzy. <laughs> All right. Let's try that. One more time without the fuzzy part. All right, thank you, little buddy. I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll do a few more of these, and then the next recording, I will pretty much start off with a boss. All right, it was Ink Wheels Experience, Tomorrow's Technology Today. Tomorrow's Technology Today. Let's go. No fee. The fees are really light in this game, too. Go, Rolonium, go. Oh, I thought it was going to go a little further than that. That's just a shield, which I don't need because I fear no man. Later. Sweet. I was so hoping they would have Rolonium in this game, and I'm not disappointed. Love it. I love Rolonium. Shifty Station Rolonium. That, that was great. I, I miss those days. You have to ask the question, where is he coming from? Later. 
Oh, a shark. Who gets rid of a splashdown for a shark? I do. Heck yeah. All right, onwards we go. You go ahead and break that box. I'll break this one. Whatever's up there didn't come down automatically, which is awkward for me. So, how does one get up there is the question. And I think one gets up there by getting up here. No, I don't. And now I've actually locked myself out of going back, so... Well, no, I bet I can do this. Nope, never mind. So, no, so much for that. My bad. At first, I thought I was going to climb up this way and jump back, but... Go, Rolonium, go! Because I just want to do it. Goodbye. Let's see. Took Take a look before you seal your fate. Well, I already sealed my fate over that direction, unfortunately. But it looks like I have final checkpoint. Check it out. All right, so... Nothing down there. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I'll be all right. It'll be fine. I, I, I have my splash down back. Even though I got rid of my reef slider. The reef slider was fun to use though. Alright. Some of my all time great plays have been with reef sliders. Oh hi. Go little buddy go. Little buddy was a distraction. Take that. You fell for it. Oh. It's always awkward when you miss. Whew, almost there. All right, let's see what's up here. Kind of makes up for that one I missed. Little buddy, destroy it. You, uh, you got to destroy that, buddy. There you go. Onwards to victory we go. And before I do it, let me just take a sec to admire whatever the crap this all is. Satellite equipment, huh? Impressive. Very impressive. These structures are very futuristic. The humans, before they perished, must have had great technology. And now we have turf wars. Alright, I'm thinking I can probably go like one more. Yeah, I, I, I can totally do one more. Let's do this. First off, grab that. Second off, gonna need that anyways. Now that 2000 opens up the next station, so don't exactly want that. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. Well, I had to open these anyways. So now the question is... Hmm... Definitely uh, two paths here, so two paths is important to note. Open this one up. Just because it's super cheap. What, what'd you find? Nice. Alright, bird's eye view. Let's take a look. What's left? Got that. The revolving balloon. I should probably get that eventually, so... Got that one. There's no boss. No boss. Did I get all of them? Am I already done? This might be the end of the recording. I was thinking there might be something left. Huh. Well, look at that. Hmm. I'm questionable about this, but... All right, so I guess that might be it. I'm gonna... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ah! Why? Oh, wait, I'm fuzzy. All right, let's try this one more time. Um, I'm going to go back there and try one more time to get that. But at the same time, um, you look like you're important. Open that up. I want to know what's there. What was it? What did I do that for? I can't even climb it. So the question was, what was that? These little ones, is it just convenience or, you know, there's something under them that I need to know about? Nothing? Nothing at all. Alright, so yeah, I, I guess there's really nothing left for me. Open that 400. I'm going to open this up too. 
Little buddy, you're supposed to be eating the 400. What are you doing? All right, well, uh, let's let's shoot this. Grab these eggs. And I guess I don't actually have to get this one, so screw that. Just to conserve. All right, that's it. I literally don't see any more stages. There's no bosses, nothing. So I thought every one of these was going to come with a boss, but I must be mistaken. So with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate anybody that's watching these. I also have hiccups right as I went into that. I don't see anything else to do, and I appreciate that any comments you guys leave. I love seeing comments on all of it. Uh, Octo Expansion definitely had a good run, and I really enjoyed it with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this too. Like I say, it, it, I'm seeing a lot of opportunity to to skip a lot of these and speed run this almost. But I'm going to 100% this, and that's what I'm going to aim for. Maybe not the goo. I'll come back and do that later. But uh, for now, it looks like there's no boss, and there's no more stations here. So that's it. All right, I'm going to go pour some coffee and record the next one. So thank you guys very much. Catch you on the next one. And this is uh, this is your little inkling here, the new Agent 3, bidding you a nice farewell.